Hi guys, it's Elsa. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different compared to my other videos. I'm going to be drinking celery juice for 30 days, so if you're interested to know what happens with that, then just keep on watching. But before we get into the main video, I do want to state a little disclaimer that I am not a medical professional. This is just for entertainment only. And I want to also say that I just decided to do this out of curiosity and just to kind of see how drinking celery juice would affect me. So I did this really for scientific purposes and that is it. So I'm definitely not trying to promote diet culture or anything like that um, but yeah so i really hope you enjoy the video so let's roll the clips so this is the masticating juicer i use we actually bought it used but like new so that's a great way to save money anyway let's talk about the celery juice craze according to healthline.com there are a lot of fad claims associated with drinking celery juice such as detoxification and curing chronic illnesses your body naturally detoxifies itself because that's our liver's job. And it's not to say that celery juice can't cure certain illnesses. The fact is, there hasn't been enough research to prove this. Others claim that celery juice promotes clear skin, decreased bloating, and decreased inflammation. I wanted to try this out for myself to see if I could experience any of these positive changes. Today is October 1st, so that is the date, and I'll be showing you the phone just so that you know that I am continuing with the process. I'm not skipping any days. I'm not doing a few here and a few there. It's like all in a row. I just poured myself some celery juice, but yeah, I'm going to be drinking this. So cheers. So I would say like I've drunk celery juice on and off, but the taste to me is actually kind of refreshing. This isn't my first time trying it. You know, it never was as bad as I'd heard. You know, people were like, oh my gosh, celery juice is just so disgusting. It is just so potent. And I think that is true if you use the leaves and stuff. I do use more of the hearts of the celery, so maybe that's why. But I would suggest doing that, especially if you know that you don't like a super strong celery taste. But this to me, honestly, first thing I wake up, first thing I'm consuming, this is really refreshing, so it doesn't seem too bad to me. But I'm gonna finish this and then wait about 15 minutes or so and then I will eat my breakfast. Right now it is October 2nd and I will be drinking celery juice yet again. But I will say if it were the winter, I don't think I'd be getting up to drink something ice cold. So I really recommend putting it in the fridge for a long time and then it feels like you're just drinking this like green ice cold refreshing juice um, instead of just kind of this lukewarm juice. So that is one tip if you're thinking of trying celery juice. It's October 3rd and yeah this is my last cup of celery juice and then tonight I'm gonna have to juice again for three days. Um, but yeah Cheers. As with all health trends, we want to approach it with a lot of caution and be really honest with ourselves why we're partaking in these health trends. For me, I really liked the taste of celery juice and I thought it would be a super fun video to film, so that's why I did it, but only you can answer that question for yourself. So I would just say it's my fifth day drinking celery juice. I feel like possibly less bloated, which I know is like a lot of people say that. I would say I think results will be greater for those who have not had celery juice before and who don't already have like a quote healthy diet. Um, it, it's just a lot harder to see change in someone who already includes lots of fruits and vegetables and like health into their life versus someone who hasn't and then all of a sudden does. Obviously it's going to be a greater change in that time period so i'm thinking you know i don't know we'll keep going with this because we still have 25 days but i just want to check in with you guys and tell you that i haven't really felt like a huge difference other than i feel like the digestion is pretty good um but then again it's hard to tell if it's from celery juice or from reduced stress or from whatever else there's a lot of variables but obviously it doesn't hurt you and if you have time for it then great 
it is now October 6th. The juicing, it does take up time. And I will say that, you know, washing the machine for the juicer is quite cumbersome. You have to like scrub it all out and like get all the fiber pieces out of the, you know, machine parts and that can be a little bit difficult and take a little bit of time but of course doing it yourself is way cheaper than trying to buy celery juice somewhere yeah that's the only thing i could say is a little bit you know time consuming especially for a student like me who's kind of like going everywhere um so yeah i'm just gonna finish this and then juice more tonight october 7th and it is such a gloomy day outside, but that's okay. Because last night I was gonna go to bed and then I forgot I didn't juice celery. So I had to get the juicer out. It's okay, it's just, it kind of has to be on your to-do list, I would say, otherwise you might forget um, and then not stick with it. But I'm really glad I could juice some. So we're gonna start our day off with some celery juice. Mmm. Oh, is that a spider? It's a beetle. This beetle. I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary criticism relating to whether you believe in celery juice or not. My thing is, if you like drinking it, then drink it. And if you don't like the taste of it, then don't drink it. Today is October 10th. And you guys are gonna kill me. I did not juice celery last night. So I don't have any celery juice and it's in the morning, uh, but I do have this Suja organic juice. Um, in this one, it's just cucumber, celery, grapefruit juice, Swiss chard, green leaf lettuce, lemon, kale, spinach, parsley, mint, and more meat and water. So that's basically all it is. I think I'm gonna drink this. I definitely know this is not celery juice, but does have some celery and it's green so this is just what is gonna have to happen today i was so busy yesterday i completely forgot i woke up this morning i was like oh crap i did not juice celery last night but that's okay so i'm just gonna drink this today instead all right let's see how this tastes way more lemony obviously because it has lemon i would say it tastes pretty like earthy like there's really not that much like sweetness even though there's grapefruit it's pretty on the earthy side. <laughs> I want to say that I genuinely do enjoy green juice, but if you don't, that's okay. And there's no shame in that. Society tells us that we have to consume these things in order to be quote healthy, but I couldn't disagree more. October 11th. So it has been 11 days of drinking celery juice so far. I just wanted to check in and just say, I do feel the most difference has been digestion and possibly my skin. I know that's weird. Um, it's pretty clear right now, but then again, a lot of things could be contributing to clear skin. Things like hormones and stress are huge factors in your skin and digestion as well. So it's really hard to say it was solely the celery juice doing that, but it's just something I've noticed, so I wanted to say that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've noticed over these 11 days. I will admit, it's super hard to know if all these positive benefits are just a coincidence based on hormones, my mood, stress levels, etc., or if these positive effects are solely because of the celery juice. We may never know. 31 days of continuous juicing. The headache for a busy student. Some nights it would be 11 and I still needed to juice celery. This challenge was something I wanted to do for myself. First, I knew I didn't mind the taste, and second, I wanted to see if drinking celery juice for a prolonged period of time would help some of my digestive issues. I did it out of curiosity, plus I just wanted to feel better. Whenever I complained in this video, it was mostly because of the time aspect. Juicing takes a lot of time in preparation on top of planning regular meals. Time is definitely a downside to this whole juicing process, but if it does give you positive results and helps you feel better, then go for it and make it a priority. But if you really don't vibe with celery juice, don't worry. Drinking green juice alone doesn't make you healthy. In my book, health isn't an outward appearance. True health deals with the physiological processes inside our body. Also, I never use this juice as a way to look thin or do whatever diet culture is telling me. For me, the digestive benefits were really amazing and also I loved the refreshing taste in the morning. 
Whether it's celery juice, lemon water, apple cider vinegar, you can have it if you really enjoy it. All these things can be incorporated in a balanced way, but don't go all on these juice cleanses because you see influencers telling you that it helps you lose weight. If you're gonna do it, make sure it's for the right reasons and only you can decide that. I haven't really noticed anything different other than the skin and digestion improvements. You know, it's day 18, so I know we still have some time, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you that I haven't noticed anything different other than that. It's very, you know, difficult to drink it every day because some days I'm in the mood for it and then others I'm not really. So yeah, it kind of just, you just have to like be disciplined, I would say. Today is October 21st. I'm drinking only a cup. Usually I drink like, I don't know, maybe 12 to 14 ounces, but what I had left, I had to split into two. Otherwise I'd have to juice tonight. So I'm just gonna split it into two, but I'm still drinking at least eight ounces. Don't worry. So as far as cost, juicing celery is not cheap. Normally I wouldn't have bought all that celery, but because I'm juicing it, the celery is gone super quickly. If you multiply a $5 bundle of celery by 15 to 20 bags, that is quite expensive. Of course, you can get all the benefits of vitamins and minerals by just eating whole celery stalks, but most likely you won't be able to eat more than a few stalks without feeling full because of the fiber content. But that's the idea of juicing, I guess. You're getting a ton of nutrients without having to eat an entire bag of celery every day. So I kind of see the idea, but unfortunately with juicing, you lose all the fiber. So that's another downside. Today is Tuesday, October 26th. And guess who forgot to juice last night? Me. So I don't have celery juice this morning, but instead I'm gonna drink the Suja Organic cold press juice. It has celery in it, but I know that it is definitely not celery juice. So I'm so sorry to disappoint, but tomorrow I will definitely have the celery juice already um, to finish out the month. Another really fascinating thing I figured out during this challenge was that celery juice wasn't making my mouth itch. And you might be like, Elsa, why would celery juice make your mouth itch? Glad you asked. So I have this thing called oral allergy syndrome. It makes my mouth get itchy every time I eat celery, apples, pineapple, pears, carrots, bean sprouts, etc. Cooking often alleviates the pain or the feeling of itchiness, most likely because certain enzymes have been broken down in the cooking process. But I was so shocked to find out that the celery juice didn't make my mouth itch. But whenever I touched the celery pulp, that would make my fingers itch. So that is my 30 day celery juice challenge. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, just to kind of wrap it all up again, I will say the only things I noticed differently were skin, digestion, and possibly less bloating. But those are like the only things I have maybe, maybe could be related to celery juice. Of course, you can't know for sure. So I just am stating the facts. That's just kind of what happened. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where more celery juice might not make those things any better or worse. Um, but for anyone who likes celery juice, then go drink it. But I wouldn't, you know, use it as something that is for sure going to help you because like I stated before, everyone is different. Some people respond well to it. Some people, it just doesn't make any difference. So don't be afraid. Like if you're one of those people, it didn't work. It's totally fine. And I just thought this was super fun to film. It took me obviously 30 days to film. Uh, so that was kind of crazy. I don't think I've worked filming a video every day. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!